Ciao, and welcome to Simple Italian Cooking. My name is Liz and I'm going to show you a very easy and simple recipe that is great for the summertime. It's fried zucchini. And, and you know, in the summertime, uh, a lot of people grow zucchini, so a lot of times you have abundance of zucchinis, and the prices are usually a little cheaper at the store too when they're in season. Uh, very simple. Uh, the, the idea of frying uh, is kind of universal with what ingredients you need. You can use it for multiple, uh, whether it's chicken or uh, zucchini or whatever you want to fry. Um, but there are some variances. So anyway, the main ingredients you want is some flour and some egg with uh, milk added. Now I have done it without egg and it's been fine and I've done it without milk and it's been fine. But this time I'm, I'm doing it the, the full way. So uh, in regards to how much milk and egg, I just did one egg and I just, you know, added some milk. I just, I don't want it to be mostly milk. Uh, and it really, it doesn't matter that much. And then I have some um, breadcrumbs and these are actually homemade ones that I made and uh, organic. So if you want to know how to make homemade breadcrumbs, check out my video. Alright, and then of course we have the zucchini. And uh, I sliced them into about quarter inches and quarter inch round. And uh, once you get all these sliced, what you want to do is you want to do it in this order. You want to first dip it in the flour, okay? Then you dip it in the egg wash. And then you coat it in breadcrumbs very easily. Tap it to get off any excess, fill in any blanks, blank areas. So then you end up with something like this, okay? And then we just put it aside on a plate and we're gonna get everything ready. And then we're gonna heat up our olive oil on the stove to a high temperature and then we're gonna fry them. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I have my zucchini nicely breaded and it looks really good. So I'm heating up my olive oil and I'm putting in about this much. Um, depending on how much you're doing and how much it absorbs, uh, you might have to add more olive oil midway through. That's fine. Um, you don't want stuff to get burnt, so you got to keep enough olive oil in there. And I'm not really doing a lot, so I don't really need all that much, but I am doing it in a pan that has high edges because I don't want this oil splashing all over the place and I especially don't want it splashing on me. So once this heats up, and I don't have it on high high, I have it on like a medium high, I have it, well I have an electric um, stove and oven, but so I have it like 7.5, like between 1 and 10. So uh, let that heat up and then once it's ready, we're going to just put it in, let it sizzle, flip it over, and you'll know when it's nicely brown. So there's not an exact science, but honestly, it'll probably go pretty fast, maybe about you know, 15 seconds on each side. I'll let you know. Okay, and now we're done. Here's my, here's my dish. Now you'll notice that I use paper towels underneath. Um, the reason is, is there's a lot of oil on here because of the frying, so therefore I want some of that oil to get absorbed and you can even pat the tops down um, to soak up some more of the oil. I mean, we've got nice crispy I mean, look at this. This looks great. I mean, it's going to taste really good. So you got to let them cool just a little bit, otherwise you might burn your tongue. So uh, that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to eat them. Okay, the fried zucchini has uh, cooled down enough that I can actually touch them and, uh, and eat them now. I hope you really like this recipe. It's really super easy to make. Uh, it doesn't take long at all, and it's a fun recipe, and it's great for the summertime. Well, if you like this recipe and you want to try more, visit my website at www.simpleitaliancooking.com. Make sure to join my newsletter and like me on Facebook and you'll get notified whenever I do any new recipes, blog posts, or videos. Well, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time, ciao.